<laughs> Good cold open. Nice. <laughs> Hi, drugs. I'm that dad. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. <laughs> my understanding. We were walking past the horrific death of a gnome. We were. That's right. Uh, it's not. It's not our business, you know. Walking quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we're dallying. Like, I'm. I'm walking at my normal pace. I mean, this thing's gonna. This thing's gonna drop the gnome in a second. I'm gonna um, sneak. That's fine. I'm gonna sneak past. I don't fucking mind. It wants to drop the gnome. It's a free country. I'm gonna go past quickly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sounds like I can't. Two of you sneak. defying danger with dexterity. Mm -hmm. To fight Angel Dexterity, sure thing. Mm -hmm. Is that my? Would that be mine too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. All right. Yeah. Defy so like, Danger. Yeah. Here, here's the thing, right? Like, Hez knows what it sounds like as one of these things like swoops down and is about to attack because he's been like, he's been swooped, he's been swooped before by Monarch Butterflies, and so like he's just walking like at at a totally normal speed, like listening out for that noise and then when it arrives he, like he he has a plan and he knows exactly what he's going to do then sounds like you're defying danger with wisdom. oh dang it or mm. so, sorry right. i missed the stat you named uh uh it sounded like wisdom yeah that sounds legit i'll pay that i got a seven yeah i saw so i got a six you did Yep. Has, Ooh, nice one. At the last no, moment, no, no, no. you step out of the way, and nope. a. No, I, I do not. What do you I have a different plan. What, what do you at do? The is, last as, moment... it, as it swoops for your friend on the mm. horse. As it yeah. swoops at my friend, I step in between, and then I begin to change until I am no longer the shape of a human. I am a different shape entirely. I mean, I don't feel like you have time to do that. I got a 10 plus, Emily. I defied the danger. That's true. Okay. That's true. That's true. What was this, the thing it did that, like, it, that, like, tweaked you that it was going to come around and feed more? I think there's, um, like, a pheromone that they release when they're, oh. like... Like a, when a feeding frenzy is about to yeah. like ensue, yeah. and I think it smells a lot like blood. Um, and it's I think like, and there's like Hes like motes of this dust in the air that smell like blood. Yeah, and like Hesb's nose is very sensitive to these things, and yeah. So I just like, I think yeah, like just like these like these red motes like drift past, and we see like my nose like, and then I just like yeah, it's not in a hurry, right? Like it's just like mm -hmm. I just like with exactly the amount of m movement that is necessary to arrive at the right moment like it's all perfectly measured i just like move into where it is going to intercept and then i shapeshift and what i become is of course uh, just bamboo. as no <laughs> just 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 as there are the normal monarch butterflies that live in the the wooded copses of the forest amidst the pine needles and then there are these fucking monstrous horrible ones uh, so too there are the centipedes that feed upon uh, the monarch butterflies of the ground floor and there are the titanically enormous giant centipedes that live way down in the like the hollows at the bottom of the mountains where it's all like wet and dank and like rotten and horrible and so I turn into like an enormous centipede like you don't understand like the such a big centipede like, mm. Mm. I'm sorry, you, you Emily, into, would you like me you to turn, turn into, into something that's very nearly a Remoraz? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's all right. Mm? Sorry, yeah? You turn into something that's very nearly a Remoraz. Like, Ooh, basically, yeah. though. Like, like, yes, though, right? Like, so pretty gross. much. Um, so gross. Do you want to roll for that? Real gross. Yeah. Oh, I just figured out what it looks like, too. A big centipede? It's gonna be, it's, a giant it's fucking gonna be centipede? Cool. No, no, but like what the shape shifting bit looks like. Oh, right. we haven't seen me do that yet. Oh yeah, ten plus. Hold three. I'm good at this. And what are the moves? What are the moves of my of my uh... people? Yeah, of my the, one or more moves. Um, 
move between things. Yep. Um, a stinging pence. Yep. Ooh. Um, and uh, slipping away. Yeah, I love it. Sorry, I just need to do another. <laughs> So yeah, you so turn to the centipede. And then Yeah, so I think I think what what we see is like um like the the has skin like changes texture into the same like sticky golden resin as the scar tissue. Very unwholesome. And then the tr and then the tree bit like the fur bits start to grow through this new resin body into like a skeleton and the resin like expands and then you know it and it becomes like the outline shape of this like horrific monster and then like solidifies again into like flesh i mean that's but real still, cool but still across its chest plate is like that that distinctive scar in my real head like there's like swirling wind and like Pine needles everywhere because it's just a magical gold transformation, but yeah, totally, into a giant totally, but really sandwich. horrific. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I need to play a shapeshifter at some point who, like, when they transform, it's basically like the thing they're changing into bursts out from inside them or whatever. Yeah, totally. And then when they then when they I change about, back, they pull themselves back out, like they just yeah. pull off. I thought like, I thought about like I thought about I thought about going there, but it didn't fit the aesthetic. And also, Emily totally. is like sorry, is sick sorry. and in enough distress already, and I didn't need to like. Yeah, didn't want to I, I just need to remind myself to do Thank that at some point. You. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you should. But yeah, and then I'm just gonna fucking spend a hold, and like, as this moth, which is already like on a collision course for this now like enormous centipede, and it's like flying into my grasp, I'm just gonna like stinging pince it, and inject it with my horrible centipede venom. Yep. So you spend a hold yeah, with your grasp. Yeah. So uh, you just spend. Really a, I'm just gonna spend a hold. Yeah. Cool. It writhes in fury and pain um, as it tries to escape from your pincing pins. <laughs> yeah, and I just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like I'm basically just gonna hold it there and let Tialia just like yeah fucking I'm... cut it to ribbons. Yeah, like, we've I mean, done like, this before. Like you're holding it there, like yeah. you're you're a giant centipede. Yeah, I'm a really big centipede. Are you like riding around, or how stro How like how firmly are you holding this thing? I mean, I'm a big fucking centipede. Okay. Like, I, I think what, yeah. what I'm picturing is that, like, most of me is on the ground, and then I'm, like, reared... I'm, like, reared up, mm. and, like, my mandibles are, like, clamped, like, between its wings, like, somewhere in its back. And then, like, yeah. a, like my front couple of pairs of legs are just, like, like digging into it and, like, holding it in place. Yeah. So, like, okay. its, un so its underbelly is, like, completely exposed, right? I think... I, well, I, I was actually thinking it and this may be true gonzo which is fine okay. okay stepping just basically like standing up de like detaching from the horse um, <laughs> detaching yes because, yeah like, yeah because you got like natural state is like a centaur and, and then you just like <laughs> <laughs> you just and, step and, forwards and out of the back climbing of the on, centaur climbing onto the centipede and climbing oh, yeah, totally. you, climbing yeah, yeah, no, you, totally totally and then totally. from on top of your head down into the That's amazing. Thing. That's Excellent. even better. I love it. Excellent. I've even got like convenient little like I'm holding my some of my legs out to for you to so use like ladder rungs as yeah. you're climbing. Yeah, cool. I am a cooperating centipede. I cannot like I I didn't think that you could come up with something as a giant centipede that was cute, but that that's actually pretty cute. <laughs> Emily, you under you underestimate me, my friend. I mean that's true. That's true. You're pretty cute. Me um, me and yeah. everything. Me, me, and everything I do is cute. Mm -hmm. true. So, true. It, uh, is this a um, hack and slash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You got this. I got this. Mm -hmm. I'm got okay, I wouldn't have thought it was a hack and slash if you weren't crawling on the centipede. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. If you just stabbed it from the bottom like I wanted, you oh just get God. to deal with the damage. How does oh. Ader interfere? I always fucking forget how Ader interfere works in this game. Because uh, it's, it's varied so much. You roll number of bonds. 
So 2d6 yep. plus number of bonds to give like plus one or I think it's plus one. Um, yeah, which which the... is the part I can never remember, right? Because like Apocalypse World first edition did it differently and Apocalypse World second Let edition did it differently. Let me check Yeah, and so... A, yes, oh yeah, I, on I, 10 I plus they take plus one or minus two. Um, on 79 yeah. they still get the modifier, but you expose yourself to danger or attribution or cost. I mean, both of us could push it up to a seven to nine. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, I that's. Okay. I mean, I can just fail. I don't. It doesn't have to succeed. Yeah, I, 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 like, I think we might be better off with, with, with you just taking the hit, and then one yeah, of us yeah. just like fucking it up. Totally. Um, yep. All good. Um. Yeah, I can't think of a way that I would narratively yeah. help with this move. Totally. Yeah. Um. That's all good. And I'm already pincing as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. There's not any like a advantage and stuff like that, isn't the thing, is it? It's nah, it's all fictional positioning. Yeah. Mm. Apparently, Vincent tried it and it slowed things down like way too much. Mm. Yeah, I, I can yeah, see that being a thing because every time you're fighting someone, you'd yeah. be saying, "Oh, I got an advantage because of this." Yeah, yeah. They used to be, yeah. They used to be like apocalypse old customers where it's like when a thing is particularly hot, particularly hard, take minus one. It's real hard. Mm. And it was just like everyone who play tested was like, "This is bad, actually. <laughs> we don't want this. We don't need this." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So did we did we do did we do our assists or not or did we not want it? Uh, uh, no. Oh no, because oh, Melody missed. I see. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. Uh, it's gonna fucking stick. Hmm. I mean, it's a hack and slash. But it's mm -hmm. a five minus, it's a six minus, so I can do whatever I like. I'm just gonna fucking deal damage to you. Yep. Like, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds reasonable. Where are we? Monsters. Monsters, monsters, monsters. So pumped to see stats for a giant horror moth after this. Yeah, right. I'm just trying to find the thing that I want. Moves. Disgustingly feed on a gnome who didn't deserve it. Have spooktacular head patterns on its wings. Make strange yep. butterfly noises. That last one's a real killer. It's like a 1d10 sonic attack. <laughs> Uh, I think it's a d10 damage, and I think it's one piercing, right? Psychic. Like, the, like proboscis. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Piercing goes through armor, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I've got one armor, so just goes right through your armor. Doesn't mm -hmm. care. Dun dun dun. Doesn't care. The hunter disregards regards your right. consent and your personal space. What a dick. Unacceptable. But you said it. You said it. <laughs> I mean, Prince. I was trying to stab it. True. I'm just. I'm just also flashing. Unacceptable. I'm just flashing back to fucking Sean. Your use of the tongue is non-consensual. Oh and then his like next on neighbor. Mhm. Mhm. Role playing. Mm. Is it is it just me or like are all of the Court of Swords like TV spots they use in the live shows like comedy ones? And I'm like, like I understand why when you can only do a thirty second spot you pick funny moments, but it's also like totally misleading as to the yeah. nature and tone of the show. True that. Uh. So, um. The yeah, so it, it plunges its proboscis into your neck between the plate, so between the like parts of your armor and starts to like consume your life. Mm. Like, fluids. No, I need my life. 
I need that ship. Sorry. Oh, that's gross. That's real gross. Yeah. I mean, look, it's fine. Even if even if you die, like it'll it'll come back. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Yay. Yes. <laughs> you'll come, Great. It'll come back around. Annihilation. No. What? You'll come. You'll. It'll all come back around, right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like all the things that are you will go into the earth, and then no. they will feed other life. No. Maybe I not mean, for if elves, you just... elves. Elves have bodies. We, yeah, we but... don't know that. We haven't established yeah, yeah. Exactly. what we, happens. We have not seen elves. a dead elf. Elves, elves, elves just fucking like Yoda out of there and Maybe. just like, dissolve. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. They just get asked in like inconvenient questions by no. people they're mentoring and are just like, well, dead now. Just okay. yeah. So, so like uh, whenever an elf dies, there's like a couple of moments of silence, then a fucking giant eagle. Even if you're in a dungeon, a giant eagle just goes <laughs> and <laughs> runs away with No matter it. where you are. <laughs> yeah. Don't be in someone's Comes house. Comes through the roof. Right. Like, their house. Yeah. Little, little <laughs> known fact. Indoors. Little known fact, all through Lord of the Rings, Gandalf actually had a bunch of like shrunken elves in his pocket and he just <laughs> every time he needed eagles. Just throwing throwing all the elves so, in the air. He only had so many. That was that was why he had to ration them and he couldn't fly the ring to Mordor. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> Did you mean my entire brand? <laughs> so, what sorry. are we doing about like these oh, what are we doing about these sorry. life fluids? Yeah, that seems bad. Um, so, so how much damage do I take? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, a sorry. Uh, a d10 plus a d10. Sorry. Yeah. Do I, do I roll that? You roll that, and mm. you, it ignores the first of your armor. Yeah. Um, is there a button I can click for damage, or do I just roll? I think you roll it. Ah. Oh, sorry. Oh, there is. I didn't mean to do that. There it's is? Where it's is it? Mid middle column of your character sheet. Yep. Where it has armor, hit points, and damage. You can shift yep. what the damage oh, dice cool. is. And okay, so you can just cool. go to the 10 for temporarily. I mean, you're yep. a fighter. You live there. Yeah. I'm, yep. That's where I already am, yeah. Cool. cool. Six, that's a patch on it. I'm being yes. all blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and we see like it going blub, blub up the bosque as it. That's yeah. so gross. Sorry. That's really yeah. gross. So I'm not, I'm not into this, actually. It turns mm. out. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like this. No. Nope. And so I like I have a clamp. I've got like a grapple going on this thing right at this moment. But that's not good enough for me, actually, I've decided. Mm -hmm. And so I think I rear like a little bit more of my body like up into the air and then use the weight to like force this thing down to the ground where I just like bury my fangs into it as deep mm. like I'm not trying to poison it anymore I'm just trying to fucking like rip it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no one hurts giant centipede's friends mm -mm. that sounds like a giant stuff. centipede with a heart of gold that's right that's that's my that's that's my new that's my replacement character in Gold by Moonlight <laughs> and sorry the, the stranger Hack and slash yeah totally do it Yeah, I got nine. Cool. Yeah. So exchanging. Fuck, they're so much more prominent. I keep I keep forgetting to roll like the actual move versions because the stats are right there. Yeah, they're just there. In some ways, it is not like the best considered piece of design I've ever seen, but that's fine. Um, cool, cool, cool. And I think Ash, like you, you, t you tell me, right? Like if I also spend. Like a, a hold to like continue slash intensify my stinging pints. I will, will allow that you to bump that up to, to take plus one forward. To the damage roll. Oh yeah, to the damage roll. Yeah. So or that to would the, be this. Or to this one, like after the after the. Pack. Oh, I, I'm going to use it on this one. Yeah, totally. So take me up to a ten plus. Yeah. Um, yeah. In which case, I'm going to open myself up to an attack uh, to mm -hmm. deal the extra d6 of damage. Yep. Cool. So take t take a d10. Um, yep. Actually, it's currently and inflict ten points of damage. Nice. Ignore the D10. Make. Yep. A, tell me what you're doing about this sedating uh, um, dust that is coming off of its wings. Mm. I believe what I'm doing about it is that I am a centipede. 
and I have. Uh, so I don't know enough about centipede anatomy to answer this question, but uh, I am going to declare, as the druid who knows some shit about nature, that because this, like this species of centipede, is a natural predator of the of the emperor moths, like both the normal size ones on the normal size ones and these giant ones that I currently am on the giant size ones. So my, I imagine that like something about their lung structure is adapted for this. And so I'm mm -hmm. just gonna fucking like suck it up. Cool, con save. Uh, con, yeah. defy danger with con. Fuck yeah. Gonna defy that danger with my constitutionality. I believe in you. Not bad. I'm rolling pretty I'm good. I'm wondering if I can help you here. I'd like to be able to assist. Yeah. I How? believe you can. There's this, there's this, yeah, there's this, there's this, like, yeah, this silvery, these silvery flakes yep. are, like, falling. Um, I have two, two smoking spruce branches. I would like to get up and, like, wave them so as to fan away the dust um, and make less of it go toward centipede friend and us in general. <laughs> That's how I am helping. Centipede friend is a word I thought I'd never hear you say. I mean, yeah. Initial reaction, uh, but I feel uh, like I feel like I've won you over. I don't know. I wish I hadn't said that. Now. But anyway, <laughs> you're committed. It's too late. I <laughs> am. Yeah. No take backs. Uh, so I need to aid or aid or knowledge fear. That's the one. Uh, hang on a second. I want to add that. I want to add that move to my sheet, and then I want to roll it. Because that, that, one's, do the thing. that one's that one's slightly tricky. Um, oh, oh, is it? Yeah, just just in terms of, like the modifiers and getting it. Oh, you're okay. all good. Did it work? And you? Oh, oh shit! Sweet. And you've just rolled plus nothing. Um, yeah. So True. you should be taking having bonds we have forward to that. Mm, so awesome. So sorry, yeah. I missed how you're helping. Mm. I have the the two smoky. Oh, you have the smoke things. Yeah, that's legit. And I'm yeah. like. Waving the smoke mm -hmm. and like trying to wave away the the dust. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So that 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 works. That works hundred um, percent. Cool. So, what do you? Who wants to do a thing now? Um, I'm still holding it. I'm um, still holding it. You you got this. Am I like? Uh, am I disabled or am I like? And because uh, you mentioned there was uh, like paralytic. No, it was no. Okay. That's not. Okay. No, that's that's the dust, Just and the that is okay, cool. that is mostly like towards the centipede right now. Yeah. Okay. I think um, I think it flies in such a way that like the dust can never get in its own face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That's okay. sensible. Um, yeah, yeah. It's the, going it's coming to... off the back of its wings. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <sighs> okay, it's got its thing like in my neck. I'm going to try and like wrap my legs around it. It's like its head or neck so that I'm not dangling there um, and I'm gonna try driving my um, lance into it better, better hack I, and slash I, then friend because that sounds like I, the coolest I gotta admit I gotta admit for a, for, a, for a hot second there I totally thought this was gonna be a like I take a deep breath and I flex really hard and try and just like force so much blood up and into oh, it that it just like explodes oh, from the inside. Ew, that's so gross. The worst yeah. like vampire trope ever. Yuck, yuck. Apparently it's a real thing though, you can do it to mosquitoes. Oh, that's yeah. gross. Yeah, that's a bit better. Fuck that's yeah. That's better. Heck that's yeah. That's better. Um, Lots of fucking damage, friend. Mm. Kill that shit. Yeah. Nine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you kill it. What does that look like? Yes. I uh, kill it. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so, ba basically, basically, like, okay, Tiana has like wrapped her legs around. It's like just below the head, um, and is like up half of her body is just dangling it with, out the, with, her with the thing thighs. like in. So she's essentially like upside down. This thing's um, proboscis is in her neck. Um, she's dangling, holding the lance, and she just pulls herself up and like it drives it straight between I the eyes. It. Yeah, that's pretty um, badass. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, 
That's it's almost like fun. a reverse of what it was doing to the gnome. Like, yeah. in, you know, in yeah. the, just the, the, like, penetrating weapon straight through the front of the face. It goes mm-hmm. completely still and plummets out of the air, falls to the ground no, it doesn't. eight feet. No, it doesn't, because it's still so you're holding in it. Oh, it's still being my held. And grasp. And so I delicately lower it to the ground in such a way <laughs> that my friend is not hurt. And then I, like, move over the top of it and use my nya nya nya. And I, like, I rip, I rip it open and, like, very, like, hastily consume the most nutritious parts. Mm-hmm. Because look, it, it's important not to pass up on nutrition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, and I think like literally as I'm eating, like my form is turning into like weird like amber and resin again, and I'm like shrinking back down into myself until I'm just like me with my hands like buried in its viscera, and then I stand up and like just like unceremoniously wipe my hand, my bloody disgusting hands on like my furs and walk over to Tialia and just say, hold still. And I'm gonna start doing some first aid. Yeah, cool. I mean, like at this point, like Tialia has pulled out like, a, like you know, just a standard camping knife and like sawed the proboscis off still in her neck. Yeah, um, and so yeah, I think I like, I grab it and I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like, I like pull it out and then I take, I've got this like weird mushroom paste that grows on like um like on a certain kind of like apple like it grows on the like the apple splits and this mushroom grows out of it so i've got Mm -hmm. some of that and i like mush it up in my hands like shove it into the wound and like smear it on and then i take uh like some of my own like resinous sap scarring and just like move it put it around the wound as like glue and then i take a just a bit of like healthy living still alive moss just like slap it on to seal it yeah, is like looking over the horizons. Just I hate butterflies. Yep. Uh, and Ash, I'm gonna expend a use of my poultices and herbs. Yep. Uh, which means, uh, M, you mm-hmm. uh, heal seven damage. Oh, not me. Oh, sorry, uh, Tialia. Mm-hmm. Oh, heal seven better. damage. Fuck yep. yeah. That's I'm on full health. Awesome. I Sweet. am good at medicine, actually. Ooh. Sweet. <laughs> Call me. Call me, uh, Dr. Hesb. <laughs> From somewhere you Dr. hear a small Hesb. voice. <laughs> Sorry. Um, saying, can you use that on M- Macau? I look around. You see two little eyes glowing like embers with, uh, with big pupils, like with massive pupils in the middle of them, um, peering out. Um, they appear to have, uh, this, this small figure, um, again, has those veins of, of glowing red, um, across their ashen, their, um, coal black skin, um, and they're wearing, uh, like a bean tin, but, no, like a sardine tin, but like with holes cut in it to make it into like a kind of dress. Oh my god. Um, That's very small. Yeah, this one is like half the small, size, small. half the size of the other one. Wow. It's a bad move. Wow. Um, is it talking about the one that is dead? It's looking towards the one that is dead, um, which is now has, like has all just the head. same, like. Like, now it just looks like something made out of coal. Mm. So it's very obviously dead, then. Mm. Has, has just shakes his head. Um, yeah, I think she, nope. she, she, like, starts to, like, cry, but also just tries to walk towards the body. And there's, like, mm. there's this, like, battle going inside her between, like, which thing is, like, is she going to make it to the body or is crying going to win? Hmm. Mm. Uh, I walk over to the body and just, like, have a close look at it and, you know, confirm that uh, the larger gnome is is actually dead. It's Um, a... it looks like a piece of coal that someone's made into a shitty carving of a small person. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, While this is happening, I am keeping my eyes and my ears peeled so that uh, my, my good friend, my good friend whose name I have momentarily forgotten, (laughs) <laughs> uh, my good friend G- uh, GD is not like uh, attacked by surprising ambush by I don't know another 
Another of these things, yeah. Do you want to roll the descent yeah. realities? Mm -hmm. Do you want to roll the descent realities? Yeah, cool, great. Uh, um, cannot discern any answers. I don't that think is not your success. I don't think you can notice anything. I think you get distracted by the like the rising wind. Mm. Um, I do like like wind. you you you're, like you know that there is oncoming um like th that a storm is is blowing up. A storms are coming. Yeah. Um, and like. You know enough about this th about these mountains to know that like there's a reason the trees don't go above this level. Mm, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, I at the same time I think I am also like uh, contemplating somewhat and thinking about this monarch butterfly and its 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 life and its death and its nature and mm. how it fits into the great cycle. Just thinking, thinking, thinking monarch butterfly thoughts. Because mm -hmm. I want to be able to turn into one of them later. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're contemplating. Great. Yeah, I am. Um, I knew that. I killed one, and now I'm contemplating its corpse. And small I it. one. That's how I acquire new forms. If you if you scrape some of the powder off its wings, take it down to the elves camped at the base of the mountain and sell it to them. They will they will feed you. And, now I'm going to take some, of, some. I'm going to take some of the dust off its wings and like. Hoof it and then have a vision quest. <laughs> that's, that's how I acquire the form of the monarch butterfly. Yep. Four twenty. That's, that's that's the sequel. Is like I get real high and you'll have to go rescue me. Oh my god. Um, Ash. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Let's focus. I I say to the smaller gnome. I uh, like I'm sort of kneeling down next to the the body, um, and kind of looking at it solemnly, and I, I look up at the smaller gnome. And I say, um, I'm sorry, your friend is gone, but uh, I have some magic. I, I can't bring your friend back, but if there is something you would like to say to them or, or ask them, I can help you do that. Um, yeah. The body will feed the soil. Lily, I think, we'll call, we'll call her Lily, um, uh, like, snuffles and like... <laughs> Like collects herself enough to say something. Um, it's like, uh, without Markab, I won't. Markab can speak fire. I, I will need to, to speak to the serpent if I want to answer quest to my question. I I don't know how to find. You have a question. Um, Markab and I are our, our parents. We want to know where they are, but I can't speak fire. Hmm. Um. So, but that's not really that's not, like not something that she wants to like uh, ask or say, is it? She's just worried because she can't do the thing that. Yeah. Could do. Um. Okay. Yeah, she's also like just sad because Makab is gone. I think. Mm -hmm. Like, saying okay. something doesn't really mean anything to her. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So maybe if there were a way that you could... Yeah, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cast Speak With Dead. Mm -hmm. Cool, <clears throat> cool. Um, I'm going to do that. Uh, now, oh, hang on! I have to do the roll for like for cast a spell. spell. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so I've done it around the wrong way, but um, cast a spell. Okay. Seven. Okay, so the spells cast, but choose one. Um. Mm, after you cast it, the spell is revoked by your deity. You cannot cast a spell again until you have until you oh, commune and have it granted to you. Dang. I think. Um, 
pretty sure because I don't think it would distance me from my deity. I don't really want to draw unwelcome attention. Oh, well, I guess I could go with that. I just don't, because I'm like, oh, I don't want it to be more butterflies, but actually, like, that's boring anyway. So it's probably something different. What do it's you think? Swarm of should, should, I, butterflies. Should, should I, should I draw unwelcome, story, story gamers here. Should I draw unwelcome attention? Draw unwelcome attention. Draw unwelcome attention. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Alright, cool. To, to, okay. if, 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 we like G, if we GM moves this, like, mm -hmm. in terms of framing right. for a moment, like, uh, rev like, uh, whatever it is. Announce approaching badness and reveal an unwelcome truth are always more interesting than use up their resources. Cool. All right. In terms of GM moves. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think the way this looks, um, is that, uh, I, <clears throat> um, uh, I, I sort of, um, put a, put a hand on, like, the, the chest of, of the, of the body. Um, which is, like, I imagine probably, like, my hand is probably almost as large as, like, the torso of this creature. Um, and, uh, and lean, lean down quite close. And, um, uh, my hand sort of, like, um, uh, I think my hand becomes, like, very, uh, warm. Um, which isn't necessarily particularly visible, but I think you can kind of see, like, uh, sort of heat shimmer in the, in the air, like, above my hand. Um, and, uh, I lean down and, and, like, whisper, like, cut my hand and whisper into the, the ear of the body. And then when it speaks back to me, uh, I am, like, turning its head, I'm sorry, turning its head, um, so that it can whisper into my ear. So specifically, I do this such that no one hears what I say and no one hears what it says to yeah. me. So you can lie about what you hear. I love it. Absolutely. Um... <laughs> So, uh... This is a good religion, friend. I say... I, I think I start off by saying, um... Uh... I, I look up at Lily and I say, um... I can speak with your friend. I'm... I'm going to ask your friend, uh... What they think you should do. Um... And then I'm gonna lean down and whisper, uh... To, uh, the body. Um... Uh... What was the thing that Lily mentioned about the serpent? Uh, Maka could talk to the serpent because he speaks fire. Okay, uh, I'm gonna whisper, um, where does this serpent live? Um, in the heart of the cave of whispers, uh, the cave of many questions, in the center okay. of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Um, it is the god of our people. Okay. Oh, no, of our and, tribe, like of our, our tribe. Okay. And Lily said that they were going to the serpent because their parents were lost? Yeah. Not like dead, but like gone somewhere? They don't know what happened to their parents. Okay. Um, uh, I, uh, I sort of like um, nod and then I like um, sort of look up at Lily and like hold a hand up and lean back down again. And I, I say, I whisper to the body, um, uh, what weakness does the serpent have? Um, it cannot lie. Okay. Um, again, I, like, sort of nod thoughtfully and, and put my hand up. Uh, and then I'm going to say... I, um, I, like, I think that's expressed differently by Mark Ebbo, right? They're like, mm. they're, they're like, the honour of our serpent is that it cannot lie. It cannot tell untruths or sp uh, or um, or speak falsehoods. And this is w uh, uh, this is why it is sacred to us. Mm -hmm. Only words of burning burning truth. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The truth falls, always it's burns. It's the truth snack. is always like fire. It cleanses and reveals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I I'm gonna lean down again. And for my third question, I whisper into Markov's ear, um, what is it you see in the darkness right now? Ooh. Nothing. Silly again. Heaving, breathing, pulsing, beating. The earth itself is alive. Um, and I sort of like 
yeah, again, like I nod and then I lift my head up and I and I look, uh, make eye contact with Lily um, if she'll look at, at my face, if she's, you know, because she's crying. Um, and I say, um, She just wipes mm. like snot all off her arm. And I say, Makov says, you're right. You cannot speak to the serpent. It is not good for you to go alone. You should go back to what people you have and, and build a new life. Make some family. You'll be okay. You are strong. Do you want to roll to see you some manipulate? Yeah. Whatever it's called. What's Let's it called? Parlay. Well, so I. Parlay. The, yeah. the, the question is: Is it parlay or is it it's defy danger parlay. plus dexterity? It's defy danger plus charisma. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. That's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus it dexterity. The danger being she un she 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 grunts. Yeah. She doesn't believe. That he would say that, yeah. That they would say that, yeah. Ooh. Uh. It's a fail. She's like, Makeb was the only one I had. He. How will I find. I'm not big enough to hunt rats. I think like, and I think there's this thing where like I like, as when she responds that way, like I I kind of turn turn a little um, just slightly so that like I I'm slightly facing a little more away from my companions, and and like my sort of like um, sympathetic kind of expression sort of drops a bit, and I just kind of like stand up um, and I say, um, well, we've all got to make it somehow. You'll find something. And then I just like sort of walk back to the others. Great. Um, like I said, take scrape some of that powder off its wings. You can sell it down at the camps at the base of the mountain. They will buy it from you. It's useful. She pulls her head, arms, and legs into the tin, and you just hear the tin sobbing. Oh, <laughs> so sad. So sad. Oh. And like Ash, like every like, game, you make me sad. And like, <laughs> and like, occasionally, like banging on the edge of the uh, of the of the tin as like her little feet kick, as a child, mm. like unable to cope oh. with their grief. That's too sad. Yeah. What do? Mm. <sighs> we we should keep moving before more of the butterflies come or worse. Also, Not I would like to point out that too sad is specifically like because you're on a six. Mm. Great, that's the best best like, failure like, for escaping danger like, is sad. Really, really, I when I play Dungeon World, I add the GM move, make the players sad. <laughs> in in yeah, deal feels damage. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think has 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 just says not the butterflies, the wind, it's coming. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Is and, it uh, yeah, he, is and, it daytime and, nighttime? I'm daytime. feeling daytime. Yeah, because yeah. like because remember that 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 piercing white sunlight made the shadow mm, of the of yes. the butterfly that we saw it throw Powerful. up here. Up. The sun yeah. the the sun is so white. Yeah, yeah. Let's, so, let has, us, has, let's yeah has just has just like starts climbing with with like mm -hmm. a will. Yep. All of okay. the red uh, flags on, in, in the piles of the um, of, of the stones start like flickering downhill. Yeah, Ash, have I have I climbed this mountain before? This is where I want to be at a roll blade style, like um, yeah, to fight danger. I mean, we we could we could borrow from Stone Top and just roll the die of fate. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. Like, have you ever needed to visit the Cave of Questions? Like, the reason people don't visit the Cave of Questions is you don't is because like everyone knows that you won't like the answers. Everyone knows that, yeah. right? Like every time. Mm. Uh -huh. Just trying to think, is there like any other reason I would have? So, I mean, yes, right? Like, yes, I would. I, I would have had other business here because, like, I am a druid of the Towering Mountains as well as of. Uh, the land yeah as well as of the forest mm -hmm. and so i think actually um 
up on top of Red Mountain. It's named because there is a great field of, like, bright flowers that mm -hmm. grow there in defiance of, like, you know, the fact that it's a windswept mountain top where flowers should not thrive. Yeah. But they're these, like, bright, like, fire, like, blood red flowers. And I think mm -hmm. I went there and, like, s spilled some of my blood and, like, you know, like, made, like, a dye or something from, you know, like, the flowers. And, like, there was some ritual I did to, like, embrace and incorporate the towering mountains as I had done to the forest, like, unintentionally. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah, they're red because like... a bunch of angels got killed up there, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Cool. Totally. I've got some angel blood in me now. Mm. But, yeah, and yeah, so I'm just... I like I'm the just, idea that I'm there like... are poppies there because poppies always grow if, like, yeah. if, like, celestial blood hits, like, touches the earth. Cool. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna start leading us, like, at, at, like, a fast... Not, like, like, I'm not hurrying, I'm at that, like, ground-eating, like, I could do this for hours yeah. and hours and hours, yeah. like, persistence hunting mm. pace. Mm. And I'm just, like, following the path to the, the cave of, of many questions. Yeah. Just, like, cool. up the mountain. Yeah. I mean, after a while, you see an opening, um, in, in the, uh, in the side of the mountain. It looks like a wound that was uh, that was like cleaved into the mountain by a mighty spear, or um, or like or like a a giant arrow. Um, there is like there's rupture around the outside of this uh, of this this piercing wound into the mountain, and I think and I think that like running down from it uh, against the like the white gray stone i think there's like ochre rust like running down from the mm. from the cave mouth because uh, from whatever um whatever like whenever the spring inside give uh, flows forth it, it runs these minerals down the side of the mountain um i think i think has like stops for a moment outside the cave and like uh, drops to one knee and like uh, kind of like 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 packs the earth like the red earth, the, the red like stained rock in the same way that they like express affection to their friends uh, to his friends like it's exactly the same gesture and just as like kind of like brusque and gruff and like a little bit too forceful and then he again like takes a smear of the resin off his chest and like rubs it on the rock and like slaps down one of these moss things because like look this mountain may be dying and it's been dying for for you know a long time but that's what he learned when he took this mountain inside him he learned how it's mm -hmm. dying and how even even mountains die right like all mm -hmm. things all things go back to nature eventually yeah but like that they... doesn't mean that doesn't mean it, it it's easing can't, it's passing can't be eased mm. and so he like they... He puts the, the he puts a bandage on the dead on the dying mountain, and then just stands up and turns and looks at the two of you and like shrugs as though to say like, okay, now what? It's, You're it the is ones funny, with questions. It is funny you should do that. They say that this was a wound once once upon a time, and that it teaches us that the answers to all questions come at the end of the weapon. Ooh. It is a wound. The mountain's dying still. Oh, someday. That's the point, doesn't it? Someday. Hot earth blood will spill out, and it'll burn the forests. Perhaps we should all learn to speak fire before that happens. Oh no, we'll just die. But we'll well then, I intend to be very far away by then. And I think he ju he just laughs because, like, you you could you elves you don't understand with your horses and you think you can <laughs> outrun things. You don't get it. You don't yeah, right. understand because horses get tired, right? Like that's yeah. that's the thing about horses; they're not actually faster than like being mm -hmm. on foot. They just give you the illusion of being able to escape your problems. I think the, uh -huh. I think the thing about elves though is that there's always another horse, right? Like they literally yeah. like kill horses yeah. that they breed to like yeah. drink their their blood and milk and like live forever. Yeah. There's always another yeah. horse. There's yeah. always like another run. Like you can just like yeah, that's the thing. They just they try to just keep running. From death. Yeah, exactly. Run away from from death forever in every possible yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. and it um, never works. 
Do we want to take another break or do we want to just power through for the last hour? No, let's take a break. Um, let's take another quick, quick, break. quick break. Just like really quick. Just yep. mm -hmm. let's get some water. Power break. Yep. Power break. Yep. Get some power water. Break. Stretch your legs. Yeah. Cool. Warm up we'll the vocal cords in. for some union hymn singing in hour four. Do a little dance. All right. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> 